hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create timelines for either your working experience or for your you know education or for um, project timelines and other stuff in your in your website so let's say you are creating a website and then you need you know a timeline to tell a story okay so um you can be able to use this kind of skills that i'm going to show you to be able to um design it perfectly for your client or for yourself now if you are new over here please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's go together let's get into the video so guys this is exactly what we're going to create okay so um, i'm going to show you how you can be able to create this um, timeline over here for yourself or for any client that you're working with so as you can see over here, this um, a very nicely designed timeline which tells you know a story of um an experience that you went through okay so this is just um working experience timeline but you can use it to create any kind of timeline story timeline or anything that you want to tell okay so it could be a project or it could be anything you want to tell a story about it you can use this kind of timeline to be able to tell it so this is exactly what we're going to create let's jump into the video all right guys so to be able to design the timeline there are two things that you need to have first of all you need to install elementor okay and then also you need to install a plugin called the timeline for elementor so we're gonna go ahead and then install this plugin so i have elementor already installed but i'm going to go ahead and then go to my plugins over here hover on plugins over here as you can see this is plugins over here and then i'm going to go ahead and click on add new plugins so i'm going to go ahead and search for timeline okay just search for timeline and then i'll show you the plugin that we're going to install so we're going to install this particular plugin over here which says timeline widget for elementor that is the plugin that we're going to install so make sure that you install it and then you activate it since we have already have elementor installed we are not going to install elementor again so we activate the timeline widgets for elementor which works on Elementor. All right, so now that we have, um, you know, that one installed, so this is it. And then as you can see over here, this is Elementor. So we are good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to pages over here. And then um, um, I think I've already created, a, you know, a page over here already. So this is the page. So I'm going to just refresh the website for it to what, um, for the timeline widgets that we installed to ref reflect in the, and widgets panel of Elementor. So let's hold on and let it ref um, you know reflect and then we go on. So as you can see that's ready refresh over here. So we're gonna um first of all create what we call a container. So I'm gonna just create a container over here. I'm gonna create a big container and then um I'm gonna use this container over here. Now I'm gonna change this one to the minimum height or the main height to um VH over here and I'm gonna make it a full um you know 100 percent full weight over here so as you can see this is a height over here okay so this is the height now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give it a background so i'm going to go ahead to style over here just give it a classic background so what i'm going to do is um let's see i'm going to give it this kind of like a dark background but i'm going to make it more darker okay so i'm going to make it more darker like this so this is quite okay for me now what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to just bring another container inside so i'm going to just put two containers also inside this one so um i'll drag in a container over here and then i'll duplicate the container to make it two so i'm going to duplicate it now i don't want the container to be um, like this i want to, it to be side by side so what i'll do is um, i'll just click on this edit container over here go to its layout and then um i will change the direction to row horizontal over here so it's going to be like this okay and that is a side by side over here and then um what i'll do next is i'll go to advance over here and i'll just give a pattern on top and then bottom so i'm just going to give um, a pattern like um 120 top and then also um 120 bottom okay so it's going to be something like this okay so now that i have it like this i can um you know bring my words over here 
and then bring the timeline also over here so what i'm going to do is um, i'm just going to click over here just dragging some widgets inside so i'll drag um you know a divider widget so i'm going to drag a, a divider widget over here um with this one i'm going to just make it like a text you know the add element over here i'm going to change it to text then over here i'm going to say maybe experience okay so x p range all right so experience is quite okay now you can see the divider all right so we'll go ahead and then you know make it see so i'm going to go to style over here and then change this one so i'm going to change it to maybe like this kind of like a blue over here so just the sea blue over here and then um increase the width to let's say four okay and then what i'll do is um i'm going to go to the text over here and change this color also to the same color okay is it the same color yeah to the same color over here and then um what i'm going to do is um i'm going to go to you know the position over here and position it um right so it's going to be something like this now I'll go to the um, width over here the content and then i'll just reduce the width to like this okay so it's going to be something like this over here all right so now that i have it this way i can go ahead and then you know if you like you can you know just um, change the, the you know things over here but i just want to just put something over here and then concentrate on the timeline over here so i'm going to go straight and then drag in a heading widget over here and then i'll just say my working experience or my working experience okay so i'm gonna just um, go ahead and then style it i'm gonna make it all white um change the typography and then make it like an eb garment over here and then change this one to like 85 over here so uh, something like this is quite okay or maybe 65 which is quite okay and then i'll go ahead go to the widget again the element and then drag in um, a text editor widget over here and then you know you can write anything that you want to write over here. i'm going to style it i'm going to go ahead and change this one to um, you know a grayish white over here and then i'll come to the next one and then just drag in a button also over here and then with this button i'm just going to change it to change the background color over here um, to maybe this kind of blue or let me just make it this c blue over here so it's going to be something like this right and then um i'm just going to change the text over here um change the font and then make it the eb garment over here and change this one to let's say 35 35 is too big so i'm going to change it to 25 over here then instead of click me i'll say maybe um you know download my cv or download cv okay so i'm just gonna say download cv all right so you can put your link over here so now we have this one set up over here so as you can see this is how this one looks like now we're going to bring in the timeline over here so um what we're going to do is first of all let me just click on this um you know edit container over here go to layout over here and then position all the content um in the center okay and then put everything in the center so that everything that we're going to do is going to be in the center so i'm going to come over here click on this one and then we're going to search for time line so as you can see story timeline we're going to drag in this timeline over here and this is what we get okay so as you can see we get this big thing over here okay which um is not really what we wanted but then this is what we got now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this um, container over here and then um you know change the size from um 100 to 40. okay i'm going to change it to 40 over here and then um go ahead and then change this container size also from 100 the width to um 60. okay so um i think this one is okay so now this is how it's going to be like it it's a little bit too big but we will what we will edit it we don't need um all these things over here 
so what i'm doing i'll do is i'll just delete um this one remaining this particular one over here now you see this is how it looks like now this is the content okay so you can add all the content in like you know in this one you see amazon is born and that is this one over here now we're gonna what we're gonna do some settings so what we're going to do is um the first one is we're gonna change this one the date over here we're gonna change it to maybe um 2011 over here and then i'm going to remove this one okay i'm going to remove this one and then over here i'll say maybe um you know um, starting point okay i'm going to say the starting point and then I'm, i'll remove this image over here so i'm going to remove the image over here so it's going to be um something like this okay so something like this is exactly what we want and then um what i'll do is i'll just you know delete some of the text okay so um basically it's going to be something like this a little bit smaller not that big and then the next one is um we can go ahead and then you know just edit it so i'm going to go to the layout settings over here and i'll change the layout okay so instead of um vertical right left i'm going to say vertical only okay so it's going to be something like this just vertical only okay and then um i'll still come to the content over here come over here and then just add a little bit of content to it so i'm just going to copy this one and then just add something to it so it's going to be something like this okay all right so now we're going to style it so i'm going to go to style over here and then um with the line color over here you can change it to any color that you want but i'm going to change it to this um, blue color over here and then um you know the icon over here this is the um, the icon over here so i'm going to just go ahead and then change it to um any color that you want you can change it to any color that you want but make sure that it reflected it reflects to what you are doing or anything that you are doing so you see if you make it like this this is going to what it's going to be okay this is going to be so um you can change the color to you know any color that you really really want okay or that you are interested in and that is um with the the icon okay so um let me just make it like um you know like a yellowish color like this okay so that it's gonna be popping okay so i know it's design wise it's not really that um great but um i think i like it this way all right so you know this is quite okay for me then let me go to the line also and then see if i could change this one um to any color of my choice so let me see um blue and yellow is not really quite a good taste i'll just stick to the previous one which is this one okay so now that i have this one done um i can go ahead and then you know just um, edit the rest of the thing so i'm gonna go ahead to the year okay so you see this one is with the label for the year so for the label for the year i'm going to change it to white okay i'm going to just change it to white over here or you can change it to any color that you want and then the typography um, i'm going to just stick to the eb garment the garment okay eb garment over here um with the weight i'm going to say maybe 800 and then i'm going to increase the size a little bit to let's say 30 okay so 30 is quite okay now um i think this one is what um, the date the label and other stuff so this one is okay so i'm going to go to the content okay so with the content over here um we, let's go to the content box background so with the box background you choose your you know the type of background you want and then i'm going to select um, the darker background again so it's still going to be the darker background and then um i just want this kind of like you know the background to blend in it okay so it's going to be something like this okay 
so i think this one is also quite okay and then um with a border i'm going to leave it like that and then um yeah so it's going to be something like this and then the title and description is going to come over here and then with the title color you can choose um, any kind of color that you want i'm going to stick to this particular one and then also i'm going to go to the typography change it to the um, eb garment okay so i'm going to go over here and then select eb garment over here and then just increase the size to let's say 25 or maybe 28 okay so 28 is quite okay and then the description color also i'm going to stick to the um the grayish over here so it's it's going to be something like this okay so i think um this one is quite okay so now we are done with with it we are done with the um, the design and that stuff now let's go to the content again and then we just duplicate so we click over here to duplicate we click over here to duplicate and then we click over here to duplicate so i'm going to just make it like a four okay four different um things so the first one second one so with the second one it's not going to be starting point it's going to be um this one is going to be 2014 2014 over here and um it's not going to be starting point but it's going to be digital marketer so i was a digital marketer in 2014 so i'm going to leave it like that you can add your description and then um 2020 2020 and then you can write anything that you want to write but i'm gonna say um maybe web design web designer okay web designer and then um you know the next one which is the last one over here i'm gonna say present oh no not this one this one is gonna be ui ux designer okay and then over here i'm going to type in present so it means that at the moment that is what you do but um so basically that is it so as you can see um you will be able to have a very nicely designed timeline in any portfolio website that you are creating and that is it so we can just go ahead and publish it over here and then you can go ahead to view it Okay, so I'm going to view it in a new tab over here. So I'm going to go ahead and view it over here. And as you can see, we have a very nice, you know, uh, timeline over here. So as you can see, very neatly designed timeline for any kind of portfolio website that you are creating. You can use it for yourself. You can use it for your clients. And it's very good. It's very nice. It depends on how you design it and it it will be very very nice for you to use now of course it is mobile responsive so you can go ahead and then test it on the mobile side also so as you can see this is how the mobile side is going to be like okay so make sure that you you make it fit okay design it to make it fit okay so if you think the words are too you know big you reduce the sizes and then give spaces and other stuff for it so this is what this is how it is it is mobile responsive also so basically that is how you can be able to create timeline um, for your portfolio website hope this video helps you to be able to um, do any kind of project regarding time i hope this video helps you to be able to create any kind of project regarding timelines and then project uh, pro portfolios for yourself and then for your client thank you for watching see you in the next video my name is Kobe. please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video bye bye